Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing shifter detents on this ZF320Z 5-speed transmission. For those of you from the BMW world, you already know the story on these. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, uh, this is a pretty robust 5-speed transmission. can handle quite a bit of abuse and also quite a bit of power. Uh, the only weak spot on these is the shifter detents. Most commonly you're going to get your 5th uh, gear lean or sometimes a reverse lockout where you can't get into reverse. Uh, but I'm going to replace both the 5th fifth gear and reverse detents as well as the detents on the top. Uh, the ones on the top are super easy. The ones on the side can be kind of a pain, uh, but I'm going to take you through the general process on how to do this. Of course, there's plenty of videos out there, but uh, this is just kind of part of the overhaul video that or the overhaul series uh, that I'm doing on the E36 to get it ready for the track season. Uh, with that said, enough talking. Let's get into it. All right, so first up, we're just gonna go ahead and punch a hole into this cap. Like so. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just take a screw, start threading it in. And the reason for the uh, screw is I'm going to use this as a leverage point to get the cap off as long, along with the spring. Uh, these will come off together. They take a pry bar tool, trim pry tool, comes right off. And uh, there's the spring along with the cap. Works out pretty good. And then we can just pull the old detent out. So this is the old style. Uh, the new style has a bushing that goes in there. So this is how I know that these have never been done. So there's the old style detent right there. So here is the part number for the updated detent. It's a smaller detent, but there's a uh, protective sleeve that gets pressed in. So, if you see these in the transmission, uh, you know that the detents have been done before. I uh, lubricate them with some ATF, uh, the drift tool that we have to use. So, uh, this is a BMW special tool. It's part number 233110. And I'll just go in like that, and you'll hear when it bottoms out. It makes a very distinct noise. We'll now drop in the new detent, do lubricate it with some ATF first, then we drop in the new spring, then we have a new dust cap right here, along with our special tool for, uh, for setting the depth of it. Uh, the special tool, see right there is 232360, there's a special drift kit uh, to help install these components or these pieces of the components. So all the detents are now installed on the top. Uh, next up we're going to do reverse. I've already done fifth gear, but reverse and fifth gear are pretty much the same uh, with the exception of how the detent is oriented, but uh, we'll touch base on that once we get there. So for the detents, this is fifth gear, and this is reverse. So fifth and reverse. Um, so you can see I already have the new cap on the lower one right here. We have to go ahead and remove this upper cap. Uh, now what I found is um, the original snap rings can be kind of a kind of a pain to remove. Uh, they've sort of sunken into the cap over time, so uh, you're gonna have to just kind of finesse it. I 
mean, I was just trying to get snap ring pliers into it, but may not have that option. Yeah, I mean, this thing is a lot of pressure on it uh, because the cap for the detent, uh, there's a spring behind here, and it's just super tight up against it. So fighting that force on top of the fact that these are 20-something years old doesn't exactly help either. And the new detents come with new caps and... Um, uh, new stir clips, so I mean if you just destroy these things, it's not the end of the world either. You might have to. I mean I'm having a hell of a time just getting these out. Will not cooperate whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, for the record, this is the uh, bushing sleeve that I removed for a fifth gear earlier. Uh, that was real joy. So, just to be forewarned on, on these detents on the side, fifth and reverse, uh, these could really test your spirits. Same thing as before, we're gonna go ahead and take this screw and thread it into the cap. I'm just going to pry it off. Well, that was a joy. That was a lot more difficult than norm than it should have been. Uh, what you should be able to do is just thread the screw and uh, get it out. I mean, I punched that dent in the center, but I mean, this cap is just destroyed. So I think the only thing that was holding it in was that snap ring. Take our um, reverse spring, which is going to be the heavier duty spring if you do these both at the same time. Uh, reverse is always the heaviest detent for obvious reasons. I'm going to put that spring off to the side. We'll be reusing it. And now we have to remove the detents, which are in there pretty tight. So I've got these blind hole uh, pullers. Basically, I'm going to use this with a slide hammer to get it out. And all you have to do is just tighten these up. solid hopefully it's solid we'll find out here in a minute all right there we go that's the detent out and then what's left inside of this hole is a shifter it's like a it's like a sleeve bushing there's a slit that goes down the middle what you want to do is you want to open up the slit once you open up the slit uh this should come out however uh i have not experienced that it does not seem that these want to come out on their own and you also want to be careful not to score the side of the walls if you do you're going to, to deburr it uh, because if you don't could catch up the detent and uh 
make life miserable. So uh, just forewarning you, this could be a struggle. And you can kind of see the, the slit that I'm talking about. Um, trying to get some light on it. Uh, so if you look at about, we'll call it the 1130, uh, that is the slit that you want to try to open up first. If you can successfully open that up, um, this uh, should come out relatively easily. So just that's what it looks like. That's what you're looking for. I've not experienced this kind of luck yet, so. Take what you can get on this one. loose just for reference so you can see how I deformed the sleeve right down the middle so that takes the tension off of the entire sleeve and then once it's loose enough it'll start to move down in the bore obviously you don't want to knock it all the way down uh, so you know the once it's moving uh, you're gonna to want to grab onto it with either vice grips or some pliers and basically just pull it out. And there you go. So you can see how I kind of just broke it right down the middle, deformed enough to let it go. And uh, the bore is still pretty clean, which is a good thing. It's pretty easy to score the hell out of it. And if you do score it, you're going to want to deburr it. Uh, just so you don't run into a situation where there's uh, uneven pressure on that sleeve that needs to go in. So here's our new bushing. That's what that looks like. Again, I'm going to lubricate it. And uh, here's our drift tool, special tool 234022, and this is used to set the depth of this bushing uh, into the transmission. I have to use a slightly longer drift for reverse, which is uh, 24 zero. Sorry, I have to use a longer drift, which is 25. Sorry, 23 four zero two three. Otherwise, the depth of that bushing isn't going to be correct, and I don't want that. There we go. That looks right. Going to insert it with the detent facing down. Next, we'll take the heavy spring, drop it in. And then we're going to use 
23 23 4 0 2 1 to drive it in the dust cap All right, so uh, you probably saw me struggling there with that circlip. Uh, the reason uh, for the struggle was primarily because the reverse spring uh, is much stiffer than the fifth gear is. And you know, you have that cap, which you're trying to get in past where the snap ring groove is, uh, but the spring is fighting the entire time. Uh, fortunately, you know, I kind of got it in the area and then I was able to tap it all the way in with the drift. And so that's locked in place. Um, I shifted, you know, shifted through the gears a little bit. I mean, it feels all right. Um, really need a, um, really need to uh, have a shifter on it to, to feel if everything is fine or not. Uh, hopefully it is. Uh, but uh, everything went in the way that it should. Uh, only struggle I had was removing the fifth gear detent bushing and uh, that was just simply because it did not split along that seam uh, for that insert that was kind of a problem uh, but other than that everything else went together pretty smoothly so no real complaints uh, you do need the drift kit to do this for sure uh, you definitely need those uh, that little slide hammer that I have for pulling on the blind hole I'll put a link in the description for that uh, but other than that hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something uh, like I said, you know, this particular transmission is pretty robust. It's used in a lot of racing applications um, for an uh, off-the-shelf transmission. You know, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing that goes wrong with them uh, are those detents. So, um, you know, pretty straightforward. I also put links in the description in regards to some of the TIS instructions on what to look for. Uh, but other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe. Uh, follow me along on Instagram. That's also in the description below. And uh, I'll see you for the next one.